This is GCSE Further Maths Pure. We're on chapter three, three equations on three unknowns. And this is example two. These are a bit funny looking, so I'm going to rearrange these to kind of get them in the format that we like. So we're going to go for 2x plus y plus 0z equals minus 1. Hopefully you're happy with that we move. I'm going to call that one number 1. This one here, we're going to go for 0x plus 3y minus z equals 4. That's equation 2. And then equation 3 is going to be 3x plus y minus 2z equals minus 13. And that's going to be equation 3. Um, we're going to eliminate a letter here. Now, do you notice that there's no z already? The z's already been eliminated from question 1. So if we can eliminate the z from here, that saves us a wee bit of hassle. Our other option is to eliminate the x from this one and this one. It'll save us that because this can almost be like an equation 4 or equation 5. So I'm going to take question 1 and, and with the z here and try to eliminate the z then from uh, numbers 2 and 3. So I'm going to write then we're going to eliminate z. So how are we going to do this? We're going to multiply this one then by 2. So it's going to be 2 times by 2. And then we're going to subtract number 3. So number 2 times by 2 is 0x plus 6y minus 2z equals 8. Then we have 3x plus y minus 2z equals minus 13. going to subtract these we need to subtract them obviously to get rid of the z's so we are going to go for this take away this so that's minus 3x this take away this plus 5y this take away this disappears careful here 8 minus minus 13 gives us 21 and that then is going to be our equation 4 so we have an equation now with x and y in it and note equation 1 just has x and y in it as well so we can just kind of use those ones so with minus 3x plus 5y and then with 2x plus y can you see if we times this one here by 5 then it's going to make the y's the same so let's write down again explaining to the examiner what you're doing is vital here it helps him to follow him or her um, take away number 4 so 1 times 5 um, our equation 1 then is going to be 10x plus 5y equals minus 5. And this one here, minus 3x plus 5y equals 21. And we're going to subtract those two. And so written. So subtract in here. 10 minus minus 3 is 13x 5y take away 5y disappears minus 5 minus 21 is minus 26 and it's always encouraging whenever you know this number divides into this number so that gives us an x equals minus 2. Um, how are we going to get our other letters if we know x we could substitute it into this one here and get our y so let's do that again showing each line what we're doing so we're going to substitute x equals minus 2 into number four so equation four is of course minus three x plus five y equals 21 um, so that's minus three upon minus two because that's what we just worked out plus five y is 21 that gives me 6 plus 5y is 21. Almost then 5y is 15. And y equals 3. We then need to pick one of the equations. You could do it a couple of different ways, but uh, let's substitute it in the number 2 to work out then. We have our x, we have our y, and we need our z. So we're going to 
substitute x equals minus 2 and y equals 3 into equation 2. Equation 2 is 3y minus z equals 4. Of course there is no x bit here so we're not really substituting the x but it's just standard here so 3y's are going to be 3 upon 3 minus z equals 4. 9 minus z equals 4. I would do a wee bit of rearrange and I would add z to both sides here and then take away 4. Uh, but either way I hope you're happy with me have then z equals 5. Just then a wee check at the end again to make sure we're We've got the right numbers, so check them with one of the different equations. So we have 3x plus y minus 2z is minus 13. We hope. Let's check and see if we're right. 3x is so 3 minus 2s plus 3 minus 2 5s. We hope then is minus 13. Minus 6 plus 3 minus 10 is indeed minus 13. So we're good. And do you remember from last time we wrote our three answers? X is minus 2. Y is 3. And Z is 5.